Hi friends, it's Liz here at Liz the Paper Project. Welcome back to my channel. And if you are new, welcome. Today I am sharing the unboxing of your Creative Studios um, subscription kits. And I love Amanda's kits, you guys. They are like a little Christmas in a box. That's how I feel about them. I'm always inspired and I love to see what she sends. So let's get started. Um, I have gone ahead and opened up some of the packaging because sometimes that takes forever um, when I'm filming and I just, you know, I know your time is precious. So one thing that's included in this one is this cute little stamp set, as you can see it here. I think it's adorable and already comes in the, um, little box to keep the items in. I'll show you another washi that I just opened the box. So this is what it looks like. And to me, it looks like vines. And I just think it's beautiful because you can just, you know, add this to any of your work to give it a little bit of extra something. And I love, um, Amanda, thank you so much for sending me the box. Um, I love how she brings all the pieces together because everything matches. So you can use everything she sends every month um, and nothing else. I do have a few unboxings for her kits and I will link those below if you haven't seen them. So you can get an idea of the variety of pieces that um, she gathers for us and then kind of curates them all in a little package. I even love the packaging in some of these pieces. So look at this beautiful um, washies. And let me just see if I can get closer with the camera. See all the variety of um, designs there. So there's different, um, you know, kind of images. This one has like, you know, some portraits of some people. And then it also seems to have just... Um, landscapes and stuff like that kind of all combined so i think this is just beautiful i mean you can use them in any setting and of course i'm going to try and see if i can put them i'm just going to put them on my little um plate here so that i don't have to repackage while i'm filming so i think those are just beautiful you guys there's a little note card set and this one i love the um, difference, different images here. And again, you know, you can do so much with these. Hope you guys can see them there. And so it looks like it's three of each. So that's a really nice set that you can, you know, use in your journals. This one I thought was a cute packaging. It says passport, but then you've got your sticky notes, which is really neat. And this is perfect for snail mail or again, just adding things to your planner or your um, journal. I love this little bag. And check these out. And I think these are not stickers because they don't feel like stickers, but they're like, um, like receipts and checks and that sort of thing, vintage looking. So and I guess uh, vintage advertisements. So these are like really perfect for the types of projects that I enjoy doing. And I love how she um, put these together. And I like that she includes a little note with each kit as well. And um, one thing that I usually like to mention is she is in Canada. So for my Canadian subscribers, we are lucky to have her you guys because shipping is not gonna be insane getting things from her. So this is another sticky note set. Oh, look how nice those are. Oh, these are perfect. I like this type of um, little um, sticky notes because they're useful for just about anything. She always includes her own designs of stickers and I think they're beautiful. It kind of gives you the look like when you look at that you kind of see the color scheme that she's going for and i absolutely love this color scheme so we'll be using this for sure i think this is my favorite one right now Ooh, of all the stamps so hmm. i'm going to be stamping these out later so you guys can see what they look like but they look like um vintage ads and this one says um 
I hope good luck will be with you forever. Isn't that cute? And then there's just different advertisements there. So these are the, um, the stamp sets. That she always includes some sort of stamps and washies and stickers. And I love everything she includes, you guys. These are cute. Again, even the packaging I'm in love with here. Look at this packaging. It could just be so many things, right? So you've got um, stickers here. And this one has three sticker sheets. And I know many of you are going to love that look there. I'm more into like the botanicals and florals. Oh, and oh, look at this washi. This one I had to open because I knew I would have a hard time showing it to you guys if I didn't open it ahead of time. Isn't it beautiful? And I love the texture. It feels just, oh my gosh, it just feels delicious, this, um, this paper. So I'm not sure what it's called but I think it is like a, a washi and then look at these um, papers she always includes a, a, some sort of um, paper with it as well and oh so first of all let me show you these ones and then I'll show you the other two so I love the vellum so there's two vellum here this one has like a texture to it and I don't think it's a sticker but it's got like a nice texture these ones are both stickers so they're sticker sheets because I could feel the the paper difference. So there's the sticky part of that. Isn't that nice? And then you've got this one with like the vintage labels. Anyways, this one also feels like a sticker. So I love this kit. I can't wait to use it. I hope you guys enjoy the share and I'll come back and show you how I'm using these pieces. Hi friends, so I'm back to show you how I use some of the pieces um, that are in the kit. And I'm just picking one of my next pages that I had selected for the spread. I do like to use both sides of the page to, um, you know, to do my entries. And I'm really just playing around, seeing what pieces will be speaking to me and, you know, what where I want to go with it. For sure, I wanted to add a picture of our dog, Archie, um, because um, he's just, I don't know, he's just so adorable and he's always kind of with me in my studio. And so I thought I would start documenting him in this space with me. And so I'm surely going to use this somewhere. I'm not sure where. And it, you know, the picture, I love it because it, I just started using my sprocket printer. Um, I had not used it before and it prints out a tiny little photo basically and it's backed it's like a sticker sheet so I don't know if you guys have this or if any of you use it but I'm in love with this right now and currently I think um, I'm loving being able to print out images to add to my spreads as well and um, I have been using my full memo which is like the black and white um, you know printing but this one's more like a photo. So I thought it'd be nice to, you know, add photos here and there to the spread. So um, just uh, hopefully you guys will be enjoying the process. You know, if you get the subscription box, maybe it will give you some ideas on, you know, how to use some of the pieces. Uh, but I do love just playing with the paper and trying to figure out what, um, what I might come up with. I'm just showing you here some of the, um, you know, book pages and stuff that I keep on my desk sometimes to use up. I also have my little scrap bin, which is now overflowing, so I have to use this up. I'm going to try and maybe make some collages and maybe I'll kind of film that process as well so that you guys can kind of see how I put that together. But I really do like to use as much of my scraps as possible. If you watch my channel, you know that that's something that I really enjoy doing. I also like um, kind of being more free with this journal. And this is my flow journal if I haven't, um, if you are not sure what I'm talking about. Um, and the flow journal style is um, the pages are not bound. I can add pages and take pages away because I've just... Um, added them all with an elastic band so I'm loving this process because I feel less um, committed to a page 
you know, if I make a boo-boo, I can just add another page or take the one I didn't like away or cover it up, etc. Um, but I can also add pages that um, I find, like let's say I wanted to add another book page, etc. I could do that as well. So you'll see me kind of, um, you know, use this journal probably for the month of January and then I might switch it up for February. I'm not sure, um, but I do like to kind of play around with my sizes of journals that I use and styles as well. So I might bring back my glue book. I might bring back my ideas book. I'm not sure. I'll, uh, I'll think about it. And if you're not sure what I'm talking about, I'll link a video of those below. I do have flip throughs of those journals, the completed ones. Um, so you can kind of get an idea of what I'm talking about. So here you see, I'm just kind of adding a few pieces. Um, layering them really I think that's my intention for this spread is just layering the pieces that I think will look nice and then I'll probably do some journaling afterwards um, I do like to pre-decorate my pages for sure that helps you know before you actually write something down um, and I think I've mentioned that sometimes I do end up writing something down right away and sometimes I'll go back to it later so I'm really loving these um, this, the uh, stickers that look like washi tape um, and I'm thinking I'll be adding this one to this page. Another thing that I'd like to start doing with my journal is maybe doing some sort of um, like a vision board and I'm sure you guys have heard of what those are but um, I'm thinking you know it would be nice to look back on it and see kind of things that um, I was enjoying at the time things that I'm thinking of doing for example I think I'll start maybe the next spread with um, reflecting on things that I've done last year and I think that's always a good way to to kind of see how far you've come in a year whatever that may be to you whatever that means to you um, but for me it was definitely learning a lot about you know technology and using it to film these videos that's been something that is continually growing for me. Um, I plan to learn a lot more as this year kind of progresses because um, I found that it's very interesting to me, um, you know, learning the editing process and voiceovers and, you know, what things to use, etc. So I'm really enjoying learning about that as much as I can. And so far, I, you know, I'm really happy with the way things are turning out. Um, I think I'll also like to uh, maybe journal about classes that I have taken. So this is what I did kind of like at the beginning of the year. And I always have not like, you know how you usually plan ahead and think, okay, this is what I'll be doing for the coming year. But I'm, I kind of reflect on what I've done and then think about what I'm missing. So for example, I thought I wanted to try some new techniques on journal making. So I've taken a couple classes already and I'm working on some of those projects, which I am so excited to show you guys very soon. And um, I I love just, you know, sometimes I'll, I'll kind of take a course and kind of see everything and I'm thinking, okay, well, I've done this and I've done that. Um, but then this one particular little item or, or technique that I think, oh my gosh, why hadn't I thought of this? And then all of a sudden it gives me another idea for something else. So uh, that's kind of what's been happening with the classes that I've taken is they've given me more ideas on other ways to do things and different ways to, you know, work with journals. And so I'm super excited to show you guys what um, what I'm working on and, you know, what I'll be sharing with you guys in terms of what I've um, completed by taking those lessons. And um, I think it's just great, you know, just watching people work. Um, like for example, you know, with you guys and um, enjoying my journal with me videos. And I guess I should call them something else. Maybe, um, I don't know, decorate pages with me. I know there are a lot of ladies that do the same thing that we kind of like to pre-decorate our pages and journal afterwards, but I do take my time. I think for each spread for me, it's more about the process, like the relaxing aspect the enjoyment of it than what it looks like at the end because I know that I can always add things or I can always you know change things up if I want to but I think for me it's just taking the time to relax to play with the pieces to use up as much as I can um, I'm enjoying you know kind of making 
happy mail to send out to my pen pals and to my um, subscribers that send me mail. I'm really enjoying putting those pieces together. And it's just that process, those moments that are so enjoyable to me. So I think, um, I hope you guys kind of find the same thing when you're journaling or creating or crafting, etc. So um, I guess moving on from here, I'm thinking I might be adding maybe um, just a couple more details because I don't want to overload the page. It's kind of looks like it's becoming more of a collage than um you know journaling space but i'm okay with that because like i said it's for me right now it's about enjoying the moment taking the time to play with the pieces and then just seeing what inspires me so that's what i'm working on so i'm thinking i'll be adding my picture of archie who by the way happens to be um, a shih tzu poodle mix so he's very tiny. Um, I was just thinking about him when we go out um, and, you know, he goes for his walks or he does his business outside in the backyard. He gets lost in the snow because he's so small and we've had such a large amount of snow recently. So when he goes out there, it's like he disappears because he's white. And as soon as he steps out there, it's like he sinks into a spot. So he, uh, he has dug himself a, a little path in the backyard so he goes out many times a day to play back there but um, yeah it's just funny to see him navigate through the snow every year and almost be shocked that it's back again and you know it's just uh, it's funny to, to think of that about him so um, yeah what else can we talk about my friends as I try to um, you know to kind of figure out my process and what I'll be doing next. Um, I think I'm going to add a piece to the bottom um, that I can journal underneath because I like doing that. I like to have the interactive aspect on a page and be able to kind of, you know, do a little journaling behind it, almost like a little secret that, you know, once I flip it over, I'll kind of read it again in the future and see what I was thinking. So that always works. Don't be afraid to use your stapler in your journal. Um, you know, just to add pieces and layers, etc. And um, yeah, you know, other things that I think I'd like to try this year is I'm going to be using my sewing machine a lot more. Um, I'm starting to set it up in my space so that it's accessible. Um, so I can just turn it on and use it. Before I had kind of put it in a spot that I had to set it up again and, you know, do all that. So I'm so excited about it because it's ready now. As soon as I think I want to you know sew on something I can just go right to the sewing machine and do it so I'll definitely be doing that a lot more and um, yeah I'm not sure uh, what else I'll be kind of focusing on but um, I know that my intentions for this year are just basically to learn more I think that's kind of what I'm always interested in and so that's where I'm going with that is learning a little more by the way, if you see any of the items here that I'm using, for example, these stamps um, or any of the pieces that I've used, I will try and always link in my videos um, in the description box where you can get them. Um, if I have, you know, an idea, <clears throat> excuse me, where they are at this point, because um, I, I know a lot of you ask me, you know, where did you get that? Or um, I like that. Where can I get it? So I'll start linking those things below so you guys can check that out just as an FYI. And um, I guess lastly, I wanted to talk about the um, consignment shop. If you guys don't know what that is, is I am helping uh, artists and journal makers sell their items. So you send your items to me and I, um, you know, I do all the work for you with listing pictures, videos, um, shipping, all that other stuff. All you do is send me your journals. Um, if you want more details, I'll link my email again below. Um, but that's shop, the shop is going really well and I'll be getting a lot more pieces to show you guys very soon. Um, so don't forget to check out the shop because I do have a sale going on for the pieces that are currently there. Here I'm just showing you the um, stamps that I kind of, I just stamped them on this piece of paper so you could see what they look like. And I really love how clear the stamps are. So I'll be using these for sure a lot going forward. Love, love, love them. So I think this might be it for me, my friends. I hope you enjoyed the share. Thanks so much for joining me and I will see you next time.